to y'all, man. It is an honor to be with y'all. So a little bit of my backstory. I've been in real estate since 2004. I am Chris Haskins. I'm going to be your pilot tonight. So uh, my, I've been in real estate since 2004. 2008, when the crash happened, I almost went out of business. I had several houses going to foreclosure and the banks stopped loaning me money. So right now, what I want to do is show you how I was still able to build my real estate empire. How? By learning something called creative real estate financing. How do we finance these houses? And I feel that if you're watching this message right now, you're smart. You understand that the banks may or may not help you build your real estate empire, right? They, they, uh, for me, they wouldn't because I had all those foreclosures on my record. So I went into the bank, should we do, be do, do, walking in, right? And what did they say? Chris, you stink. We are not going to finance you anymore to buy any more houses. Loan did not, nice knowing you. So what I had to do is go out in the marketplace and figure my own way out, okay? And I don't want it to be as hard for you as it was for me. It took me years upon years to figure out how to put all this stuff in place. So we're going to be talking about subject two is my favorite way to buy. This is an advanced strategy. You are here tonight because you know that there is a world out there that exists. It is identical to the traditional way to do real estate. However, it is 180 degrees opposite of how we acquire real estate. So this is my subject to lease option workshop. So I'm opening up early registration right now. The workshop is going to be two days. You're going to hang out with me for four hours a day, Thursday and Friday. And if you don't want to hear me blab my lips and all that, it's all virtual. You can just go right to the link in the video description, get signed up and be on your way. But uh, it is opening up right now. And, to, and for the next 30 minutes, we're going to be talking about what I'm going to be covering. So you can understand, Chris, how does all this stuff work? Real estate under contract and buy it without going to the bank. Well, first of all, why do we do this? Keith, hey, brother, Virginia Beach, you're a local homie. Good to see you. Why do we do this? Because buying houses using this strategy is unlimited. It is unlimited. Now, even if you do have good credit, even if you do have a good tax return, you can show income. Even if you have a good debt to income ratio, there will come a time, my real estate roundup family, where the banks are going to say, you know what? Pump the brakes, player. We just ain't known and you no more money. Okay, there will come a time. That's just part of the real estate business. Uh, ideal house deal. We did. Uh, I know my team, Lilia. We did send you an email. Damn, send me another email. I'm sorry. I remember distinctly telling them that we're going to take a call with you pro bono for no charge. I'm not going to charge you. I appreciate your support. We. I did tell my team to email you. Ideal house deal. I owe you a phone call. So why do we like subject two? Because it is unlimited. You see, if you live in the conventional way of doing real estate, that's going to be on one side of the fence. It's going to be limited. But buying subject two is unlimited. So this is how we buy and this is how we sell slash lease. All right. So tonight, repeat after me. We do not buy how we sell. We do not buy how we sell, okay? So we buy creative, creatively and then we also sell creatively. Now, for the next few moments in time, I get to hang out with you and kind of dictate what I'm doing now. I'm learning, I have a coach. I'm transferring the energy from my life, all this stuff going on, transferring it over, over to you through the medium, the medium here of audio and visual and the screen that I'm on, okay? I love energy transfer. I'm learning that, you know, business is so metaphysical. When you think about my man, he says, you know what? Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. So what I'm doing today, right now, I'm transferring my energy, the way we do real estate deals, the way we buy houses, the way we finance stuff, the way we make money and build wealth. I'm transferring over to you because I want the same for you and your family. What's wrong with this thing? Can I turn it up some? Can't do that either. Hello, one, two. Okay. One, two. All right, that's much better. Okay, cool. You can hear me. So, subject two, creative real estate financing. First of all, what is it? What is it? Real quickly, I'm just going to go over the definition of the Barron's book. Subject two financing is circumstance in which a buyer takes title to a mortgaged piece of real property. They take title. Remember, title. That means ownership. 
but is not personally liable for the payment of the amount due. The buyer must make the payments in order to keep the property. However, with defaults, only the buyer's equity in that property is lost. All right. So we buy these properties, we take title, but we're not on the hook for the liability of the mortgage. Now, I'm going to go over some benefits of buying subject to and how it all works. And then we're going to get to how we get out of them on a lease option. We buy, sell. I want you to see this thing is a little, you got the fence here. You don't buy how you sell, okay? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up here too, y'all. If I'm working for y'all, the enemy was after me tonight. That was crazy. Okay. So just so I can kind of peel it back and make it simple for you, buying subject to, as we get into this two-day virtual workshop that's coming up next week, uh, on Thursday, you don't have to deal with credit. When, when we approach a homeowner, when we take over their loan payments, the lender does not ask us for our credit report. Now, you have no tax returns. When we buy the property sub two, we don't have to actually go and get our tax returns and submit them to the mortgage company. That's not how we buy real estate. Neither do we have any, any underwriting on these type of deals. So the underwriter, generally speaking, when you go get a mortgage, the underwriter looks at all those documents you turn in and then they say, Chris, uh, we'll give you the loan. But not when you buy subject two. There is no underwriting. There is actually no application to fill out when you buy subject two. I know a lot of y'all are thinking, oh my Lord, how is this even humanly possible? It sounds too good to be true. That's the same thing I thought when I did my first one. There's no appraisal to be turned into the lender. You don't have to turn in, uh, if anybody out there is self-employed like me, there is no profit and loss. You know, profit and loss, you got to turn that in if you're self-employed. You, you do not have to turn that in. This big no. There's no inspections. You don't have to have somebody crawl under the house unless you want to. There are no bank fees. You know, when you get a home loan from a mortgage company, there's a section on the closing dis disclosures. You got all these fees credit report fees, appraisal fees, origination point, back end point, discount point, all these different fees that add up to thousands and sometimes tens of thousands of dollars in order for this loan to close that you have to do what? Pay for. The good thing about buying subject two is the homeowner has already paid for those fees. And tonight, make sure, um, I'm, I'm excited, I'm busting out. I can't wait to share with you the examples of deals that we're looking at right now to prove to you. I'm going to prove to you without a shadow of a doubt, once you leave this right now, that you're going to believe subject to is not only possible for you, but probable in your near future. And not only is it for people that want to build a large empire, it is for people that want to just buy a home for you and your fam. If you're any, if once again, I, I look at y'all like me, I relate to the masses. When I bought my last house, I moved my family into it because I couldn't qualify. Once again, I couldn't qualify for a loan. And I used to pray. I'm like, God, universe, what can you do to help me find housing for me and my family? So the only way that your boy, Chris Haskins, was able to provide shelter for my family was this strategy right here, y'all. That's why I get so emotional and passionate when I'm talking about creative real estate. I know it can really, really change your life as it has changed mine. All right. Give your boy a thumbs up down there. I'm working for y'all. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I got to work this. Okay. Why else is subject to when we buy subject to the existing finances? What do we do? We take over debt. The seller has already qualified for it. <clears throat> we own the property. Okay. But we do not assume loans. See, a lot of us are thinking, well, I know what that is. That's just another, that's just a loan assumption. No, it's not. We do not go in with the seller's loan and sign on any paperwork. We make an agreement with the homeowner to take over those payments. Now, there are several documents you got to have in place for all that. Join me for the two-day virtual workshop coming up next Thursday. All of you that join me will get all of my subject to documents included in that training. So if you want to go ahead and get signed up, if you, want, if you don't want to watch all this stuff, the link's in the video description. I know... Uh, some of you guys for the, the busy entrepreneur, you guys are like, man, just give me the goods so I can get out of here. Okay. What's this in Virginia Beach? High vibe. Get your questions in. Oh, yeah. We're going to do Q&A. That's my favorite part. Get Q&A on. Put your, put your questions in the chat for the Q&A. 
put your questions in the chat. So if you don't, if you're if you if you're already ready to sign up, it's gonna take it takes me several hours to break this down. The links in the video description. Early registration is opening right now. It's gonna last for the next few days. Okay, so we buy. We don't assume loans. We don't put our name on the loan. But how do we do all this? How do we buy? Because everybody's saying, well, interest rates are 8%. How do we buy? The market's crazy right now. Well, the good thing about it is we buy on social issues, y'all. Social issues. I need you to understand this. Real estate investors like you and I, we buy on social issues, not market conditions, okay? Social issues. What do I mean by that? Death, divorce, drug abuse, drug abuse, job transfer, job loss, and the like. All right. Sometimes sickness. I don't like to. I don't like to say that one because I know your health is so important. Ooh, without your health, you ain't nothing. I know. I just had back surgery. Your boys. I'm barely getting around. I have to go to the gym now for just to maintain my life. So we buy on social issues. These things are going to happen whether interest rates are three percent. Or 8%. In a second, I'm going to show you some examples of why right now, in this time, when you're watching this in 2023, is the best time to be deploying these strategies. Let's take a look at it. Let me download this. I want you to, I'm going to show you a deal that will look a couple of deals. False notifications. I don't know what that is. Uh, Google wants to know if you act like you, yeah, I'm, I'm using the device. Okay. So let me, t let me show y'all a couple of these deals that we're looking at right now that are sub two so you can see how this works let me share my screen with you because uh, i need you to understand chris well since interest rates are so high why would i want to take over somebody's loan with high interest rate well i'm so glad you asked me that <laughs> okay is this not going to work either all right so Oh, that's not working. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go back here. Let me share screen. Present. Thank y'all for bearing with me. We've got 170 people on here right now. It's just an honor. It is a, It is an honor. I want to just take 30 seconds to say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to pour what little bit of knowledge and wisdom I have learned on planet Earth since um, my 47 years being here. It is, it is such an honor to be with you. Thank you for allowing me to, to serve you. Okay, so y'all let me know if you can see the screen. So here is a deal we're looking at, right? Now, I want you to understand why it is so important. Let me just let me back out just for a second. Remember here, what are we doing? We're taking over debt. That means we're taking over the seller's mortgage payments, but we're not personally going on the loan, remember? So why is this such a beautiful time? Here right here in 2023. Stay with me, okay? If you remember between the end of 2019 to the beginning of 2022, what was indicative of mortgage interest rates, right? Who can tell me that, that in the chat? What type of mortgage interest rates were we having between 2019, the end of 2019, and the beginning of 2022? Let me, I'm asking y'all that, put me put that in the chat. What type of interest rates were we experiencing here in America? I want y'all to, I want y'all to talk to me, man. Talk to me. There are 170 people here right now. What kind of interest rates were we very low? Magnificent beast take you, Eric. That's absolutely right. Extremely low interest rates. All right. So what we can do with subject two, y'all, stay with me. Oh my goodness, I get chills when I think about this. We can go back in time, take over that debt that was originated between 2019 and 2022. Oh, Chris, how do we do that? How do we know what's what? Let me show you. Record low. That's right. Very low. Three to four percent, two to four. Karima, you're right. You're absolutely right. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Let me show you why I feel this is the best time because this is a, these are leads coming in. I'm just going to show you two. So here is a deal that we're looking at right now. What is going on? Oh, okay, cool. So you got to have this program. Oh, yeah. If y'all don't have this, go to Chris Property Data. I'll put that link. If you go to Chris Property Data, hold up. I should be right 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 there right there is right okay boom right there this software chris property data the company gives me a special link if you go right there you can get this dat this software let me show you the magic of having this software i'm sorry i know i'm, I'm i get excited when it comes to this stuff let me just show you the whole screen 
Okay, we got this and that. Boom. There's a lead we're looking at here, right? Address up there, whatever. I'll give you all the address. I don't even care. So many of them. So when you come into the software here, you get the details, and then we come over here to click mortgage transaction history. It'll tell you right here, y'all. So they got a loan. September 17th, 2021. Now that's in that time frame of end of 2019, beginning of 2022. Okay. So come back here. The loan is a VA loan. They borrowed 300,000. Here is the magic, y'all. 2.7% interest rate. 2.7. Okay. So these are the type of loans you can see the payment on that. Now, this is a six bedroom house. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this deal or not, but I, I want y'all to understand these are the type of loans that, that people have to sell their properties based on what? Social issues. They have to sell the property. Uh, one of the big things that happens where I live in the Tidewater area of like Virginia Beach, Hampton Roads, big military presence. So what happens is these military guys get shipped overseas. They get shipped, shipped to other countries. They have to leave town and they have to sell their house within the next 30 days. No questions asked. Let's do this. Now, a lot of these properties might not have the, the most equity in them. However, the payments is what we're looking for. We're looking for the payments to be sustainable for you. OK, so that's one I want you to see there. Now, let's go ahead and bring one more because I, I don't want you all to think that this is this is a a lot of people are like, yeah, that's just one example. What else you got? So I picked up, I just picked up two that I was, uh, I just, I'm just going to show you two that we were looking at right now. Here's another one. This is in uh, Suffolk, Indian Trail, Suffolk. So loan finance date, 9-14-20. I can't make this up, y'all. I go to the, go to Chris Property Data. Get the software. You can look right in here. New conventional loan. It tells you the mortgage lender. The mortgage amount, 2.9%, y'all. I hope that you guys are seeing this. This is why I believe. You see the payment and all that stuff, loan balance. This is why I believe, my real estate round up homies, that right now, here today, into 2023, is the best time to be in real estate. Because we can step in and take over those loan payments from the lowest interest rates in the history of America. Too easy. When, <laughs> my mind, when I think of 2.9%, I think of zero. Because if you borrow $100,000, that's only $2,900 in interest you're paying back for the entire year. I mean, that is almost free money, okay? So this is why I'm passionate about teaching you this strategy. This is why I'm going to be doing the subject to lease option workshop. And if you want to get registered right now, if you don't have time to hear me blab, if you blab on and on, I'm going to keep going here. But there are some intricacies you have intricacies you have to learn. And I am going to be the one to teach it to you. It is my honor to step in and teach you this stuff. So registrations in the video description below the lease the subject to lease option two-day virtual workshop gets registered up. Early registration is happening right now. Don't waste your time. Just click on it. It's only going to cost you a few bucks because why? Because uh, this is my service to the community. Okay. So let's keep going. So next, get your questions in. I'm going to go over questions real quick. I'm going to questions real quick. I'm going to go, I'm going to go over questions at the end. Okay. All right. So we buy sub two. Now we get out of these things. Lease option. Let me scoop my little, scoop my microphone. I gotta get a headset. You know what? I'll, I'll get a headset for the class. A lease option. A lease option is two different strategies mixed all together. We rent the property with an option to buy. They get a lease, which allows them quiet enjoyment, and then they get an option, which allows them to buy the property. How the property dis is disposed of. Now, what's the beauty of doing lease options as opposed to traditional rentals? For me, back in 2010, I never forget like yesterday, I was laying in the bed. My wife had just got laid off from 3M. I'm in the bed. I'm like, Chris, you got a few rental properties. You have tenants not paying. You got vacancies. You got tenants that are staying in your properties, trying to ride you out. You got to evict them. You have mortgage payments to pay. What you going to do? I had to go get educated on a different strategy other than traditional tenants. Traditional tenants were going to 
they were going to take they were going to take me out of business. They were going to wipe me out. If I were to stay dealing with traditional tenants, I was not going to be in business for long. All right. So I want you all to understand that. Make sure I got this here. Is that thing working there? Traditional tenants almost took me out of business, y'all. I want y'all to know that. So when I got educated on how this creative uh, real estate stuff works, that's when, that's when my career took off. Let me see here one thing. Make sure I got it right here. All right, got that there. Cool. So we got, let me just stop this. Sorry, y'all. Computer issues today. Whoo, boy, that a monster. Okay, so we sell on lease option. Beauty about lease options. We don't do credit checks for our end buyers. What does that mean? We deal with the 75% of people that are looking to buy or rent a house that the, that uh, that don't qualify. Generally speaking, the, the, <laughs> the people, they say you got 100 people. 75% of them have challenged credit. They haven't been on their job long enough. They may not make enough money at that time to qualify for this rental property or to get a loan. So my tagline after we buy a sub two and we sell on a lease option, my tagline is this. We provide home ownership for people that can't necessarily go out and get a loan. If you can memorize that line, you, can you tell I said that a few times? <laughs> I said, well, miss, we provide home ownership for people that can't necessarily go out and get a loan. All right. So if you can get that down, the doors, the gates of heaven are going to open up for you. Because usually when people can't qualify for loans, they feel like the American dream of home ownership is closed for them. The door is locked. And then you come along, boom, Miss Smith, well, I can do that. You do have to have a down payment, but I can help you. We don't do credit checks when we sell. Uh, there's no cleaning. We don't have to go in and have the property sparkling. What usually happens when you do deal with traditional tenants? The place got to be clean. You got to make sure that it's all been fixed up, clean, warm and fuzzy, new carpet, paint, all that stuff. Lease options, no painting. I have not painted a piece of, I have not painted a rental property that it was lease option. Shit, man, it's been over 10 years. We don't do painting. We do, we, I'm not going to say we don't do any repairs, but we do very little repairs before and after we sell the properties. Um, we don't worry about missed rents. I'm not, I don't care. When I did traditional rentals, all I got was a security deposit. And if the tenant didn't pay, that little security deposit was gone. I'm going to show you in a minute why I don't care about people, my tenant buyers that don't pay on when, they, when, that, when I sell on a lease option. Uh, I don't have to deal with late night calls because I'm dealing with tenant buyers. Huge difference when you're dealing with tenants versus tenant buyers. Now, there are three paydays when you do lease options. Now, we're selling on a lease option. The first one, we get a large down payment. The good thing about when you deal with the 75% of the house buyers that can't qualify for a mortgage, they know in their mind, well, since my credit is the best, I'm going to have to figure out another way to get into a house. So they save up money to give us for a down payment. So we get that $10,000 up front before they even move in on lease option properties. The next one is going to be the monthly payments. We collect rent. Now, um, it may or may not be above market rent rates. I'm not going to say that it always is because sometimes it's not. But we still get those rents in every month from tenant buyers. Now, if we if we have a mortgage on it because you bought it, you, you got a mortgage on it still. We have principal pay down. That's going to be taking our principal down every month that the tenant is paying. Right. We've collected a down payment. And when we sell it, the third pay bit payday. We have back in payday. So for instance, let's say we owe 180. We sold it for 220 on a lease option. Every month that 180 is going down, 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 down. But our lease option is staying in place at 220. All right. This is the magic. So there is no interest rate. There's no amortization table on a lease option. It's set. Okay. If you sold it for 220, they give you a $10,000 down payment. Now at 210, you take you collect that rent. And then at the end of the three, four years, whatever you agree, they cash you out and you get on down the street. OK, so that is the magic. That's the magic of selling on lease options. You get down payments, month, monthly payment. And then when they cash you out, you get a big, large lump sum. Isn't that cool? As opposed to when the tenant moves out. Oh, my Lord. When a traditional tenant moves out, what do you have to do? Carpet, paint, fix broken stuff. 
clean it up real good. Make sure a window's working. Make sure the place is attractive, shrubbery, all that stuff. And you're doing all that with that little bitty itsy teeny weeny security deposit that you collected. Let's say, for instance, if your tenant buyer moves out, you got 10 grand. See in the Facebook. Okay, what's wrong with Facebook? I don't know what's going on tonight. Tonight is really crazy. The enemy is all up in my stuff. Facebook's not working. What will happen to Facebook? Nah, well, no, well, I'm just glad to have y'all here, man. Shoot. Okay, so you understand buying sub two, sell lease option. So <clears throat> right now we're opening up the early, super early bird special for you. The registrations are the, uh, in the video description below. You're going to be with me for two hours. I'm sorry, two days, four hours each day. You're going to meet my geek squad, Brian. He goes out there and scrubs and makes sure that we have leads coming in. Now you saw, I hope tonight I proved to you that subject two is the best way to buy where everybody else is out there. 8%, oh no, the market, I can't get an interest, I can't get a loan because interest rates are too high. You and I know how to creatively use our brains. Ron LeGrand used to always tell me, Chris, we have to use our brain, leverage our brains and not our pockets. Leverage our brains. That's what we're doing with this strategy here. We're leveraging our brains, y'all. So we're going to go out, look for people that have originated a loan. And when you go to Chris uh, property data right there, you can just do a search for the loans. I'm going to give you a tip. Do a search for people that bought a house between 2019 and 2022 and just mail those people. You're talking about you could build your whole real estate empire just with that list. Just with that list, if you bought a house between 2019 and 2022, you're going to get a call or a message from me every 60 days. Boom, and it's over. How many, even if just 1% wanted to sell, you could buy one house every six months, right? So that's a little tip for you. I cannot wait to hang out with you for two days. It's going to be Thursday and Friday. You'll uh, get to ask questions. You're going to be in the room with all the other entrepreneurs. You're going to be able to see how we put it all together. We're going to go over the documents, how we title these things, how we find them. How do we interface and negotiate with sellers to actually persuade them? Because nobody's going to give you their house subject to if you just say, well, I could buy a subject to. I could buy a house. You can't do that. You must be trained. There are certain things round up, homies, that I've learned that you just don't know coming out of the womb. And buying real estate subject to or sub to is one of them. You must be trained up. And fortunately, your boy has been trained by some masters. I've been trained by the masters. All right. So get registered up for the two-day virtual workshop. My subject to lease option, two-day virtual workshop. The early, super early registration is in the video description. I look forward to seeing you there. Let's get some, let's get some uh, Q&A here. Lydia, I'm going to get you straight. Lilia. Yeah, I remember that email. I'll go back and check it again, but we did reply to your email. I don't know why you didn't get it. E being, I'm wondering if you have any lenders that you can refer that can refinance properties under a land trust. I do not other, I do local lenders where I live. Atlantic Bank, Atlantic Union Bank will do it. That's the only one that I know where I live. Sorry that I'm, I was late too, y'all. That was a, that was a real rough one. Hi, Vibe. Is this something recommend for a first-time investor? Absolutely. Now, first-time investors, yes. However, only do this if the numbers make sense and only do it if you're committing for the long run. Now, if you get into one of these and you can't make the payment or your tenant buyer uh, stops making the payment and you can't make the payment, all I'm asking you, Hi, Vibe. So, you see, tonight, you're, tonight you are getting knighted. I love this. I'm knighting you. You are able to, you, right now you have superpowers. You have actually learned something new. You got superpowers. So you can go out to the marketplace and either hurt a bunch of people or, or help them. Because sometimes people get these properties deeded over to us and we stop making the payment, right? So what I want you to do, if you can't make those payments, just deed the house back to the seller, all right? Deed the house back to the homeowner. And that way I won't come looking for you. Then I won't blow you up. Uh we buy on deeds, but sell with no deed. There you go, Dragon. What's up, Dragon? Long time. Keith Howard, this sounds good. Been self-employed. There you go, Keith. This is for you, brother. Who is this for? People that don't want to go out there and beg lenders to give them loans. That was me. 
Oh, wow, Sandra, look at that. This is an incredible picture you got. How did you find these properties and how that trust is formed? How was the trust formed? Well, we're going to get into that. But yes, we have to remember, and including me, I have to remind myself, this is a people business. This is a people business. Every time you buy a house, you buy it from a person. Every time you go into a closing, a, a person has to close it. Every time you hire a contractor, a person has to come swing the hammer. An inspector, a lender, all that stuff is from a person dealing with this. So uh, find the property. We use a heavy internet presence. And when you come to the subject to lease option two-day virtual workshop, you're going to meet my geek squad that sources our leads. You're gonna, I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. How to put how to uh, bounce city? How do we approach the sub potential subject to deal? Well, let me tell you one way you don't approach them. Oh, Miss Smith, can you please let me buy this house subject to? If you do that, it's going to be a bad hair day for you. It's going to be a bad day. We cannot beg people. I have to remember this. I buy houses. I don't get sold houses. What does that mean? That means I buy real estate if it's going to be beneficial for me and my family and the seller. But if you're trying to sell me something and it's just going to benefit you, I'm the wrong guy. And I wish a lot of us took that stance. A lot of us are just trying to get in and get in the game. I'm like, you're buying a deal, no cash flow, no equity, nothing, no benefit for you. Why are you buying it? And lo and God forbid, you buy a house and you think that you're going to do a short-term rental. You buy a property with high monthly payments and you're saying, you're saying to yourself, well, I just do a short-term rental. I'll make three, $4,000 a month and pay for it. Let me tell you, I'm taking back one of my short-term rentals right now. I'm going to do a video on it recent, in the near future. I'm having to take one back because it's not performing. I did a deal with a gentleman. I rented, I rented the property to him. He could not perform, could not make it work. So don't buy real estate based on short-term rental cash flow only. You're going to hurt yourself. I got to get, get some water. We do not buy real estate. Oh, shoot. Boom, boom. We do not buy real estate based on the best situation. We buy real estate based on the worst case. If their monthly rent is a thousand dollars, that's the that's that's the market rent. I want to be able to cash flow this thing at nine fifty. If the market rents two thousand, I want to be able to cash flow it at eighteen fifty. Okay, so don't. Don't buy a piece of property, whether it's subject to or with financing, that your payment's $1,850 and the market rent is $1,850 and you're going home thinking, man, I'm going to crush this. I'm going to get Airbnb and short-term rentals and travel nurses and mid-term rentals. I'm going to make three, four, five thousand a month. That stuff can dry up. Okay, that stuff can dry up as it is right now. Short-term rentals are really changing. Miss Lioness, I need to know if we offer the home buyer some funds for their property or we need funds once they leave the, or if we need funds once they leave the property for upgrades. Miss Lioness, that's a good question. It all depends. Uh, generally speaking, I try to at least, I try to at least put some money in my homeowner's pockets when they sell us a property subject to. I try to give them some money. So yes, try to give them some money. Do we need money to fix it up? Mm, usually, no. I try not to do any repairs to it because we're selling to people over here that have money that can fix them up. The lease option people we're looking for, I'm looking for contractors, roofers, people that do siding, floors, electricians, HVAC guys, because they know other people that can do the work. And I'm going to show you how to find those people too. Those are my favorite types of buyers, people that are contractors that know how to fix these properties up. So no, you don't necessarily need to have uh, have what is it money for the repairs? Everything long past the uh, Dalton. Do I look for low equity? Low equity? Yes, you can't do that. That is a way to look for them too. GA. What if they don't owe anything? If they don't have a mortgage, then you cannot do a subject to on the deal unless. Did you know you can buy? I have bought houses subject to back taxes, IRS taxes. Real estate taxes, I've bought subject to um, subject to judgments. 
liens, all that stuff, child support. Oh, I've done it all, man. I've done it. Keep that stuff right in place. It doesn't have to be a mortgage. Any lien that's on the property, you can buy and keep that existing in place to buy it. Eric, that first house is 7.75, has a monthly payment that is 1000 a month or more. No, no, no. It wasn't 7.75, Eric. The one I showed you, it was 2.75, my friend. Hold on. What you talking about? Let me see. I want y'all to make sure that y'all saw that. Let me show the whole screen. Eric, you might not have seen that properly. So the first house that I showed y'all, is that this one? Uh, let's see. Was that the first one? Let me go. Let me close this out. I got my daughter's laptop. Maple Avenue. It was 2.7, my brother. See, that's a two right there. 2.7. That's why it's such a powerful strategy. Okay. That wasn't 7.7. That was 2.7. So we're stepping in taking over 2.7, my friend. GA. Oh, thanks. For that. Did y'all see that was 7.7? That's 2.7. Sorry about that. Word to wise, if you don't mind me asking, how did they find that lead in the soft custom filter search? First search? Well, that lead came in once I, I'm telling you, you can use, go to Chris Property Data and get the software. You got to have, you have to have the software. You just have to do a search for people, uh, home people that bought the property between 2019 and 2022. It'll give you, and just type in a zip code that you want to buy and just either call them or send letters out. Real simple. But you got to have the software in order to find out about this mortgage information. All right. Then if you go through that link right there, it's right there. You all you got to if you don't have the software. Word to wise. There you go. Just do a search. You can do a search for two years back. Uh, it's called length of ownership time. You can do that. Or when they bought it, you can just say purchase date 19, 2022. Steve J, are the contracts available for every? Yes. These contracts that we have. I'm not going to say I created them. I've taken them from different gurus and trainers and mentors of over the years, and I put them all together for you. And my contracts are included in this training too. Okay. Let's see here. Let me do something there. Let's get this Q&A rolling, y'all. This is really good stuff. I'm going to keep doing Q&A. If you haven't seen, make sure you get registered up the two-day Subject to lease option virtual workshop is coming up this Thursday. This Thursday. And you got two days with me. You're going to meet my team. You're going to meet, uh, what else? Who are you going to meet? Brian that runs the Geek Squad. You're going to meet people that are going to help change your life, man. It's honored to do that. And thank you. I am okay now. Shit, it was rough. Uh, how did I find that lead? Thank you so much. And do I have an analyzer that includes waterfall? I don't even know. What's waterfall? Can somebody tell me what that is? The picking and the grinning. Preach it, brother. Can't wait to learn. Okay, cool. I look forward to seeing you, my friend. Miss Lioness, shouldn't we offer the homeowner some money? Yeah, we said that. How do we determine how much? Well, it's up to you. I bought houses where I've given the seller five hundred dollars, seven hundred and fifty dollars. I did one recently where we gave the seller three thousand. I did seven thousand. I've done. We did one. We had we had to come up with forty thousand, almost fifty thousand in the rear in back payments. So it all depends. And the sellers, what you can give them is whatever you can negotiate. Rich exotics. I would not lease purchase from you. Oh, man. Okay. I hope we never had to do a deal together then. Janet, I believe you, the enemy, wants to keep us down. Oh, yeah. The enemy does want to keep this stuff. <laughs> Health and wellness. Leopard your brain. That's right. Uh, subject to isn't that easy to find. I don't know why you would say that. Uh, it all depends. Here's the thing. M, um, in H. When I tell myself it's hard to find, that's the first step in saying that it is. I know that there are people out there every day that are closing these deals, it is up to me to go out there and find them. I, I had to leave it at that. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Word to the wise. Thank you for the tip. You're welcome. Pick and then a grin. And can I provide the subject to contracts and where we can find them? Once, well, two ways. If you just need those, I can give you the link. I can give you my uh, my subject to documents. Just send us an email. They're on my website. Just go to chrishaskins.com to get those docs. But I'm going to include them with the uh, if you come to the workshop. 
Those documents are state dependent and nationwide. They are nationwide, Dawson. You can use them in any state. Now, I will say if you take them to your attorney or your title company, they're going to want to look over them and stuff. Here's the thing I've learned. Title companies and, and attorneys do not provide these documents because they don't want to be on the hook. Now, they will explain your documents to the seller. All right. I find that out when I when I travel. So you download the docs. You can either get them from me or whoever. I don't care. Then turn them into the closing people and they will explain them to the seller. Rahul, Chris, keep up the good work. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How to connect with you. Uh, that email. I got your email. If you might want to just send the email to Chris buys houses at Gmail. Thank you so much for your support. It's one of our members there, man. He said, thank you so much. Keith, fun, finding flip houses in Hampton Roads is hard right now. I don't know. Keith, once again, it's all mental. Depending on what your budget is, if you spend $200 a day, you will have more houses than you could buy. But it all depends on how much you want to spend. I don't like saying it's hard. Uh, ideal, send me an email to Chris Buys Houses at Gmail. But I know we replied to your email. We might have to just send it again. Uh, I, I do remember your email. I'll just send it over again. Magnificent Beast, this is strategies and all available in all states. Absolutely. You can do it in every state. Every state. Whole Hoss, Chris, looking forward to the course. If the owner's deceased, and they have a reverse mortgage where subject to work. Generally speaking, no, we stay away from reverse mortgages. I don't like to do those. A Brown, when closing on a lease option, the consideration collected want the onset at the onset of the deal is used to fund escrow as down payment. Yes. What happens if tenant doesn't close and you funded escrow? Oh, if you're using that money to buy. So let's say sometimes people, I'm not going to recommend that. Sometimes people buy and sell on a lease option. So you do have to use that tenant buyer stuff to close on your end. But he's saying, what if the tenant doesn't close and you funded it? Yeah, you're in trouble. You, you're in trouble for that. Everyday living with La Arena. Sing, short term rentals becoming extremely saturated. That's true. I'm, I'm living it right now. Wait till y'all see this video. I'm going to show you a text I got from my guy. I'm having to take back the house because he can't perform. Man, dude, it's no, no disrespect. He just can't perform. Connie, can this be done with foreclosures? Absolutely. They are my favorite. Hey, Miss Patricia, what up? Good to see you up in Baltimore. He's just saying current rates is a thousand or I'm I'm just saying a thousand dollars. I don't the software here, right there. Go to Chris Property Data. You get a seven day free trial. It's called Prop Stream. And if you go go it's seven days or 14 days, whatever it is, but you got to have that software so you can see. Let me show you. You can see the interest rates. The software allows you to see what people are, the loans. So for instance, let's say for instance, that you have a, a deal that you're looking to buy a subject to. And the seller says, well, even before you call them, I want to know how much have they borrowed? What is the uh, amount that they borrowed? That's why you look right here. You go right to the software, type in the address. You see, I type the address in, boom, it comes right up. And then you go over here to mortgage transaction history. And you can see right there, loan amount, the date, the lender, loan amount, interest rate, okay? But in order for you to see this stuff, you have to have PropStream. And in order for you to get that, you got to go right there to chrispropertydata.com, okay? Thank you all for letting me serve you all this evening. And get registered up, the lease op subject to lease option workshop. I am here. Put it on me. I'll carry the weight. I am here to serve. I am so sick when I run into people that say, Chris, I'm just waiting to, for this to clean my credit up, save up this. I'm waiting to do this. I'm waiting to get my loan approved. I'm, wait. I'm like, I have, you know, I have a therapist. So I'll talk to my therapist. She goes, I tell, um, she asked me how I feel when people tell me that I'm over it. I don't even like when they say that. I don't even try to convince people like you. I don't have to convince you. You are here, 120 people right now, because you know something else exists. It's almost like the Matrix. You know something's going on, but you can't see it. And then you see guys like me buying and selling these houses every day. Like, how in the hell? When that same thing happened to me in 2007, I saw these dudes buying houses. How are they doing this? So I had to peel back the layers. I am. Uh, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for even. Being open, being curious 
about other real estate strategies. And don't be going talking to a bunch of people about this stuff. They're going to think you're a crook and criminal. Don't be going talking to your family and friends. Hey, you know, we could buy a house and did you know you could buy a house and you don't have to pay off the mortgage? Don't do that. You can buy a house and pay off. You don't, you do not have to pay off the mortgage in order to buy a house. Okay. I need y'all to understand that, but don't go telling people they gonna think you're crazy. Uh, Clay is the geek squad marketing cost a tax write off. Absolutely. It is my friend. Every, all those expensive Lisa, how much do you give it? If it's a three, two and no lien three, two and no mortgage. I don't know. It depends on what we usually 60 to 70% of the value minus repairs. Adam, someone mentioned a waterfall, probably referring to the property of paying off debt. Priority of paying off debt. I don't know what that means. That's above my pay grade. Lilia, hey, tried to mess with the face. I don't, I don't remember getting the thing. I'm sorry. Send me that. Uh, go ahead and send me that one more time on Facebook or Chris buys houses at Gmail, Lilia. I got you covered. I'll get you straight. I remember getting your email with the phone number. Glover, I'm looking at mine sub two for my primary property. Congratulations for you. I understand the deed goes in my name, but when does the house or mortgage go into my name? Glover, that's why you need to be at the two-day virtual subject to lease option workshop. The mortgage never, ever goes in your name. It stays in the seller's name, my friend. You're buying a house, but you're not. the loan is not getting paid off. The seller's mortgage stays in place and you make the payments. I thought I was real clear with that, but maybe uh, maybe I'm not getting it. Uh, do I do live calls? I have consultations. Absolutely. If you go to my Instagram, there's a link there for a consultation, my friend. Bounce City. The law of attraction. How about how much money will we need on hand in order to get started in the subject too? I don't know. It depends. If you searching for pre-foreclosures, you don't need much. If you're looking for leads like us, you need $100 a lead or $300 a lead to pay, depending on what your budget is. So it all depends on what you want to do. GA, how can I find lawyers that are familiar with subject to? Oh boy, GA, we're going to cover this on the in the workshop. It's going to be hard. It took me five years to find the people that do this stuff because they ain't out there advertising. I don't know why. Why don't these people advertise? I will show you how to do that. Bigger pockets, running ads, and going to your RIA is the main thing. Uh, Lilia, looking to buy a house in Virginia Beach. Do I have any available? I do. I've got a condo in Virginia Beach. It's a three-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath. Alice. Oh, yeah, you joined up. You signed up. Good for you. I appreciate you. Thanks for joining us. Took me to a page that says stop. No way to send. So if, if this says stop, just save those links. Uh, and we'll email them all to you. So don't even worry about it every time. Just we'll email you everything to you. Do I do live calls with sellers? Yes. This weekend, I've got a live call or the video that's coming out where we're buying a house subject to. And my W-2 job hours conflict with your workshop. With a re- will there be replays? There is no replay. However, if you get if you pay, if you register and get the recordings, then we will email them to you after it's down. Hey, after we're done. Sorry about that. The real Caleb. What's up, homie? Good to see you. And I want to master these strategies. That's what I said to myself. I will master the subject to strategy. You don't even want to know how many courses I took on this stuff, dude. I mean, and then documents, downloading, trying to get the best ones, getting the best strategies, the best tips, the best bullet points in these docs. I have been through it. Face blue smiling. Adam. Patricia, oh, okay, somebody else, and y'all get together. That's the magic. When you come to the training, in the, in the Zoom room, you're going to be able to meet other people that are thinking like you and that want to succeed like you. So you're right in there in the mix with these people. You get to meet and network and all that stuff. So get registered up. The subject to my subject to lease option, two-day virtual workshop coming up next Thursday. Going to be with me for four hours a day, meeting my geek squad. I'm going to be right here teaching you. You're going to get a workbook. You're going to have all this. I think it's, I don't even know, 10 pages of workbook you're going to get. And you're also going to get my subject to documents so you can close these, just close this stuff, close these deals. Eric, can we go over the ARV for lease option sales price? How much higher it, the price is, whatever you agree to, my friend. Usually I just put a praise value. 
Rich Exotics. Virginia got those old overpriced one bathroom homes. I don't know. Shannon, hey, how does the seller know that you will pay the note on time and not damage their credit? That is a great question. The seller doesn't know. But let me tell you, when you go in there and you present yourself, see, I'm going to offer you some negotiation training too. You must become a master negotiator. I mean, it just, these are prerequisites. It is a prerequisite. If you want this for yourself, and I've learned, I can't want this for you more than you want this for you. When I talk to somebody, I'm like, this is what we're doing. This is how it works. This may or may, may, or, may or not be for you, All right? You want to think about it? It's something about confidence that when the words come out, just right now, when you're listening, that energy, remember I told you at the beginning of this training tonight, energy can't be created nor destroyed. I'm just learning this stuff too. I'm trying to, get, I'm getting better. So when we transfer the energy of what we will do over to the seller, it's like magic. I don't know what it is. I tell somebody, look, I'm going this, boom, boom, I'm going to do this, 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 boom, boom, boom. What do you think? I don't have people that question it. I never had somebody say, well, what if you don't pay? First of all, I'm giving you money at closing. And if I don't do the deal, then I lose out. So, yes, you have to get trained up, yo. You got to get trained up. Oh, man, Danny, somebody got my real estate negotiating Bible. Thank you, Danny, for supporting my brother. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. That book is going to change your life. After you read it, you're going to be a master negotiator. And you might want to go a little further and get my ninja negotiating audio. That is really going to blow you up, too negotiation. The reason I created those products, Danny, is because when I started, won't know negotiation training. Zero back in 2004. I'm like, how do I learn how to negotiate? Who's going to teach me? And I don't want to learn how to negotiate to list the house. I don't want to learn how to negotiate to go out there and be a real estate agent. No disrespect to agents. I want to learn how to be a a, a real estate investor and learn how to negotiate. So that's what these books are for. Uh, they're for you, Danny. Rennie, how would I go about finding the gap lending once you have found a subject to and you want to make your primary home? Well, if you need some money, you're going to have to learn how to raise private money. All right. I can't get into that right now. So much I need to do to train you. I'm going to be jumping back. I'm going to start doing more lives too to help y'all. You got to learn this stuff. Private money, y'all. Shannon, I need that book. The Real Estate Negotiating Bible. Right now, you can get it on Amazon. I just got a hard copy. Or just go to uh, chrishaskins.com. Get you the hard copy there. This is so cool. So remember, y'all, we can buy a house without paying off the loan. Did you know you could do that? I never forget the first time I heard. Did you know you can buy a house without having to pay off the loan? What? That don't even make sense to me. You can buy a house without paying off the mortgage. Okay, so remember that. Even if you don't come to my class, at least tonight you've learned that there is a strategy out there that you've never heard of. And if you have heard of it, you have no idea how it works. You'd probably like me. I don't even believe it. One thing that I don't want you to, I don't want to run your life is doubt. I'm telling you, we're doing this every day. We practice these strategies. I'm a practitioner and I want you to be able to buy real estate regardless of your credit and whether you're, you're bankable or not, because you deserve it. If you're in this country and you look like me or you're struggling like I was for, for years, you deserve the best for yourself and your family. All right. And these are the strategies that are going to help you and get a shirt too. go down. There's a link. Y'all see, I got, I got the new long sleeve shirts. Y'all how you like to, I got, I got the long sleeve shirts. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm moving up a little bit. I'm moving up. Oh, you got the audio too. Cool. All right. Yeah. The audio's. Man, it's good stuff. I'm telling y'all, I built this stuff for y'all. If you're new to the process, you need to get signed up. Chris is the man to learn from. Oh, thank you, Caleb. I appreciate that. That is cool. They gave me that, that $50 check. Thank you. That's worth everything I paid for that one. <laughs> okay. All right. So when you walk out of one of these closings, you're going to feel funny. When you go to do one of these deals, you're going to be like, there's no subject to police. No one cares about these deals. No one cares about you doing this other than you. So get signed up. The subject to lease option workshop, y'all. Two days with me. Register in the video description. I look forward to seeing you. And come network in the room. Meet other people. If you're going to work every day and you're saying to people around you don't know what they're doing, you can't talk ideas. I don't even know if you would want to share some of this stuff with your coworkers. This room is going to be forward thinkers and people that want to build 
just like you do. Winners, all right? Roundup, I love you. I will see you on the next video. Make sure you're subscribed because this weekend you're going to hear me negotiate one of these deals over the phone. All right, get registered. See you soon. Peace.